Greetings folks, Flying Doctor here, hope you're doing okay. This is a very, very quick tutorial on how to use uh, what's known as the VNAV tool, vertical navigation tool, in the GTN 750, which is made by PMS50 and sits within the H145 uh, cockpit uh, designed by Hype Performance Group, though of course it's there in the original aircraft. So what we're talking about is a tool. This will not automate vertical navigation for you, but it will allow you to carry out a quick calculation on your rate of descent that's required to move from one waypoint to another. And if you open up your GTN uh, 750, this of course is the first screen that will appear. You can just see uh, down here. And uh, if you go to Utilities and click on that, you'll find a tool called VNAV here. And I'm going to click on that. And it says Utilities VCalc. On the left-hand side here, I've got an active flight plan. I'm actually flying towards Corfu at the moment, uh, just looking to simulate an approach once again. This may well find its way onto uh, the Flying Doctor YouTube video section. But for the moment, I thought I would just illustrate how to use VCalc. So things are stable for me at the moment. If you just have a look here, here am I on the uh, primary fright display. You've got the altitude uh, set and holding. I'm following a navigational course and I'm holding speed as well. All things are going nicely. I'm at just over 4,200 uh, meters. Now, as the uh, flight plan progresses, you can see down here that I need to make a change. Uh, we have passed through this, but my next uh, move is to B Dex, and that's at 2,000 feet. So I'm just going to show you how uh, it's possible to do this. So using VCalc, just click on target altitude and pop in 2,000 feet. Press Enter, and uh, then we've got a question: Was it before or after a target waypoint? So we're going to aim for before B Dex. Uh, so if I click on that, that just switches it from before to afterwards. You can uh, place in how many miles you want to offset this to happen. Um, your aircraft will have a vertical speed profile. I've not changed this from the original. In fact, I need to check whether this is right, but uh, the same principles apply. So I select the target waypoint that I'm flying to, and I'm going to select BDEX here. And you can see immediately that we've got some information coming up saying that if I want to descend, uh, I need to descend in 1 minute 20 seconds and I need a vertical speed of 367.8. It's increasing feet per minute. Uh, one of the interesting features of this is that if we lower, for example, the airspeed, I'm just going to do that for us. That's the wrong way. I can hear by the engines. So if I just lower the airspeed slightly, you'll see the uh, rate of descent decreasing here. So it's, it's all adding up and making sense. Uh, if I move down to 70 knots, which is the maximum climb speed in fact, uh, you'll see that change even more. So I'm just tweaking here. Of course I'm just referring back. I'm looking for my, looking for my marker, that's gone way too low. Let me just uh, move for you so that we've got all the screens showing. There we are, that's a little bit easier for me. Okay, so uh, if I move my airspeed, I'll do it on the thing here down to say maximum climb speed there. You'll see that's having an impact on my required rate of descent. It's saying begin descent in 1 minute 45 seconds. And that's increasing as well, as it's aware that it doesn't need to descend as quickly. But I'm going to increase the speed uh, just so that I can model this for us now. We'll go to 90 knots and see what difference that makes. Should we go a bit faster? I'm not sure how that ended up there. Increasing our speed. You can see the little bug here. Green bug. 
as we increase our speed yes it's saying it's dropping right down so what how, what do we do from here notice how this is a you know this is this is live uh, as I continue to talk I can turn back and it will tell me exactly so it's saying to tend to target and it's saying I need a vertical speed of well roughly that looks to me like 500 uh, feet per minute if we don't get a move on so then this is very simple if you click on vertical speed on the autopilot click on vertical speed down you'll see the bug here and a little number next to it that's number one click it again two three four five okay that's 500 feet per minute as best I understand it and because I want a little bit more five three six I'm going to click a sixth time there and there you go we're descending nicely to the target and we shall have arrived at BDEX with a mile to spare and uh, yes we're deciding descending quite nicely so simply an illustration of uh, how to use uh, vcalc there and you can see that we're making a slow descent so uh, yeah just uh, simply it's a really useful tool because it allows you obviously to monitor the rate of descent and also makes adjustments for speed as well and so yeah find it's a really useful tool Okay, take care folks, stay safe, I hope you uh, enjoyed that.